Hey everybody, welcome to Bodhi Acumen Wellness. Today we're talking an evening Qigong program. Now as always, if you haven't, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Now, last week we uh, taught you a morning Qigong program to stimulate your Qi, all the organs that stimulate your Qi, uh, both your prenatal and your postnatal Qi, that's for the uh, for the kidney, uh, for the lung, and for the spleen. Uh, today we're going to be teaching you an evening program that you can do before bed. Um, and when it comes to unwinding after a hard day of work, trying to fall asleep, trying to relax, we want to target and focus our program on organs that make blood. Uh, not only make blood, but actually move blood. Uh, so we're going to be looking at three organs once again. We're going to be looking at your liver, which moves chi, which helps move the blood. We're going to be looking at the spleen, as we did last week, but a new exercise for the spleen that helps to make blood. And then, of course, the heart, which actually moves the blood around the body. Uh, and all three of these exercises are going to help you to unwind, de-stress, and have a fantastic night's sleep. Let's get to work. So, step the feet, nice and tight together, pinky, big toe, heel, evenly on the floor, hands on the knees. We're going to roll counterclockwise. We always want to start off with a few warm-up exercises, this one called waking up the joints, basically helping to move blood and oxygen, move chi through the joints, make sure everybody's healthy, make sure everybody's relaxed so you can have an awesome night's sleep. And you want to try to keep the pinky big toe heel evenly on the ground, switch directions at all times, and move nice and slowly. As always, you're always exploring a, as large a range of motion as you can, comfortably, without pain. Beautiful. Now let's step the feet out nice and wide, lock the knee. We're going to roll the hip, big circle all the way around. Waking up those six meridians that move through the legs. As we talked about, it's all about blood and oxygen. It's blood that actually anchors you, switch directions, into sleep. And allows you to not only fall asleep, but stay asleep all night. Blood being yin is nourishing cool, um, and cooling uh, on the body. All the fluids on the body are a little bit cooling. Um, and this is going to offset any of that heat, that yang being generated by strong emotional stimulation, by too much thought revs up the heart and keeps you going. Let's place the hands behind the back. Let's roll the upper body now. So this practice would be focused a little bit young because there's always a balance, but then on all the things that build yin, build fluids, build blood in the body. And that's what's going to anchor us into sleep. Nice and easy. And once again, if you have limitation in your back, you can't go there. If you, you're carrying too much weight on your body, whatever the case may be, you can do a nice small circle. Let's go the opposite way. Totally fine. Just listen to your body. We never want to be injuring you while we're trying to heal you. But if you can, explore a little bit bigger. Loosen up that lower back. Loosen up those hamstrings. Couple more. Beautiful. Let's move to the arms now, nice and relaxed. All that sitting at the computer, sitting at the desk. Maybe you're on your feet all day. Maybe you're standing over something, working on someone. I know as an acupuncturist, I'm always working over somebody. So yeah, it creates a lot of tension. Let's switch directions. Nice and easy. Just open everything up. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, nice and relaxed. Beautiful. Let's go to the elbows now, relaxing the shoulder. And if you have problems with your shoulders, you can come down here. It's okay. We just want to get some rotation, switch directions. Rotation through the elbow, those six meridians that travel through the arms. Just want to promote a little bit of movement. Beautiful. And let's finish with the neck. Just a few. A few weeks back, we 
Taught you guys a Qigong for neck pain program. Really, really great way to loosen up that neck after the day. Check it out sometime. Rolling around. Beautiful. Now listen, I'm really doing my best to provide you guys with all the tools you can to take care of yourself. So if there's something, if some category that I haven't covered, please send me a message. I'll be happy to put something together. Uh, you know, use me. Uh, that's what I'm here for is to take care of you guys. So let me know if there's anything you guys need. Okay, so we woke up the joints. Now let's wake up a little chi. I'm gonna cup the hand and give a little tap. Nice and easy, just stimulates a little lymph movement, a little blood and oxygen. Nice and easy. And a cupped hand always. It's more penetrating. It's a little bit more vibration through the body. As always, where there's more meat, give it a harder slap. Ah, oh, beautiful. And before we start, let's also do our trembling horse. We start with our left. And give it a nice gentle spin. And then we add in the right. And you'll always find one hand's a little bit more coordinated than the other. Just try to relax like you're turning two light bulbs. Once you feel that pressure start to build around the hands, add in the elbows. Totally relax, flap those arms. Everything nice and loose. Shake out that tension. Now let's shake the shoulders. Shake the shoulders. Get rid of all that tension. And now shake from the waist. Shake everything. Totally loose. Shake out that etch a sketch. Totally relaxed. Let's take a cleansing breath here. Deep breath in. And out. Two more. And out. One last one. Gather. And melt. Beautiful. Now, for any time we're conditioning organs in the body, and depending on what organs we do, we always want to make sure that we one, we stimulate the spine first. This is going to open up and activate the do and the wren channel. This is what's called the microcosmic orbit. Um, and we'll do a video on that simply on microcosmic orbit in the future. Uh, but today we're going to start with an exercise to stimulate that spine. We want that bamboo flexible spine. Um, and then we're going to move through the organs that we move through. And then at the end, we always do a balance to balance yin and yang. Sometimes we were able to focus on certain exercises a little bit more. Some came, came a little bit more naturally. Some we were able just mentally able to focus. So we want to make sure that we balance everything out afterwards. But first, we've got to stimulate that spine. So we're going to do a little forward casting, like we're casting a big net. Really great way to loosen up the back and the entire, uh, entire body, really, after a long day at work. So like we're holding a net. We're going to be casting the net out in front of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in. We're going to lift up and we're going to slowly roll the spine up. And then we're going to throw the net away and we're going to roll the body down. We're going to slowly roll up. Head is last. Lifting that net up. Oh, throwing out. Breathing in. In, lifting up, roll the spine one vertebra at a time. <sighs> totally relaxed. <sighs> Allow the knees to soften as you throw that net off into the distance. <sighs> Sink the body down. Throwing away <sighs> any tension. Mental, emotional, physical. Get rid of it. You carry that a 
around with you for far too long. Just a couple more. Last one. In and out. Gorgeous. So, as I said, we're going to be hitting three exercises today, three different organs today. And the first one we're going to look at is the liver. Now, liver is responsible for the smooth movement of chi. Like the roots and branches of a tree, it's supposed to go up and out. Always relaxed, always grateful. Um, and so first we're going to clear the meridian of the, both the liver and the gallbladder channel. Those are the paired yin and yang organs. And then we'll tonify both with a wonderful exercise, one of my absolute favorite exercises called weeping willow. So let's step the feet out. And we're going to visualize white light. Anywhere our hand travels over our body, we're going to visualize white light moving in that direction, clearing any stagnations. So take a breath in, breathing out, coming all the way down to the outside of the big toe, top side of the big toe, and we're going to breathe in at the front portion of the inside of the leg, leading white light up. As we come to the hip, we're going to come to the side of the hip, then into the chest, to the throat, to the eyes, and that's where we'll pick up the gallbladder channel, the corner of the eye, and we're going to breathe out down the entire side, what's called Shaoyang, the side of the body where the gallbladder channel travels all the way down over the hips, the IT band, shin, down to the second toe. Let's go again, leading white light up the liver, front portion of the inside of the leg, crossing out to the hip, to the chest, to the throat, to the eyes, grabbing the gallbladder channel down the entire side. Relax that neck, the ribs, the hips, Thighs and shin all the way down. Breathing in, white light comes up. To the chest, throat, eyes. Breathing out down that gallbladder channel. Smoother. Let's do one last one. Ever needs lots of love. And breathing out. Beautiful. Let's roll up. That is last. Cleansing breath. And out. Very nice. So now we'll move to our tonification exercise called Weeping Willow. Uh, and this is going to give a lateral stretch. So we're going to get a great stretch down that whole lateral compartment, which is the gallbladder. And we're going to get a great stretch to the inner thigh through the liver channel. Uh, and both getting a nice dynamic stretch to the whole body itself, really relieving a lot of tension, getting you ready to sleep. So take a breath in. Right hand is up. Left hand is down. We're going to breathe out, shifting our weight to the right. Reaching our right hand left and our left hand right. Breathing in. We're going to switch. Now left is up, right is down. Breathing out. And we're going to shift our weight whenever you can. Breathing in. Now I had one of my subscribers the other day ask about, is it important to be doing the right right, the right side first, or the left side first? And, looking at trying to mirror what I do while we're doing, and the reality is it doesn't matter. What all that matters is your focused intention. So we want to connect to your breath, connect to your body, that connects your mind to the moment. Really doesn't matter whether you're mirroring me or doing the opposite or whatever. Um, all that matters is that you're doing a little Qigong. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. You could do this whole practice just in your mind. Reality is connecting your mind to your breath, your breath to your body, and everything to the moment. Out. And once again, if you're capable, get a nice deep stretch. 
feels so good. Just a few more. Last one. Take a cleansing breath in and out. Okay, next we're going to move to this spleen and stomach channel. And this is all about making blood. So it turns the food we eat into the chi and uh, the energy and the blood that nourishes our body and is going to help us sleep. So as always, first we're going to cleanse the meridian first. So we're going to trace the track of the spleen and stomach channel. Long, long breath on this guy. Uh, once again, white light moving over the channel to remove any stagnations. So take a breath in and out. Going back down to that big toe, this time on the inside of the big toe. And we're going to breathe in up the middle portion this time of the inside of the leg. White light coming up. And then we're going to cross the outside of the hip sides of the ribs and then at the chest we're going to turn over picking up the stomach channel and we're going to go down the sides of the tummy cross back out on the hip and go down the side of the leg outside of the thigh down the shin down to the second and third toe that's the stomach channel so once again we breathe in leading that white light up cross to the hip up the ribs Turning over on the chest, then we breathe out down the sides of the tummy. We cross back out the hip. Ooh, the birds are singing. Down the leg and all the way down to that second toe. Breathing in. Breathing out. In, white light comes up, cross to the hip, up to the chest, breathing out. Breathing in, up the spleen, to the hips, up the sides of the ribs, and then down the stomach, crossing back out. In. See that white light coming up. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Few more breathing in. See that white light coming up, clearing any blockages, any stagnations. Breathing out. All the way down that stomach channel. Last two. Breathing out. One last breath. So much to say. And breathing out. Let's breathe in, slowly roll up. Head is last. And out. Wonderful. So now that we've cleared out any stagnations, now we want to tonify that organ. And we're going to use an exercise called Rotating the North Star. Really, really great exercise to get some compression and some massage on both the liver and the spleen. So we're going to step out a little bit wider and you're going to be in what's called a horse stance, kind of like you're riding a horse. Now your goal is to keep the legs stationary. So we're going to be turning our upper body and you're going to try to keep your legs as straight as you can, as stable as you can, while we rotate the upper body. Now we're going to form a loose triangle and we're going to bring that triangle up right up above the head. Now, 
If you have problems with your neck that you can't look up, because you're going to be looking up through the center of this triangle, looking up and visualizing your own North Star. Now, if you can't, it's absolutely okay just to raise it above your head, visualize and focus your mind above as we're going to be rotating the upper body. Okay? But if you can, I want you to arch looking up, find your own North Star, and we're going to be breathing in and focusing and connecting on it. So, up if you can, deep breath in here. Lower body is stable, upper body twist. Breathe in the center. Breathe out, twisting left. Breathe in the center. Breathe out, twisting right. Breathe in the center. And left. Breathe in the center. Right. Breathe in the center. Left. Breathe in the center. Once again, it's totally okay to keep your head neutral. If you have issues with your neck, cervical vertebra, if you have problems with the muscles in your neck, absolutely okay to keep it straight. Just do your best to keep your triangle above the center of your head as you twist, and rotate, get a nice massage the liver and spleen. Let's go a couple more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last one each side. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last time to the center. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Step the feet together. Ooh, it's getting humid. <laughs> okay, so for our final organ, we're gonna do our heart and small intestine. These are the paired channels on the heart channel. So first, as always, we gotta clear some stagnation. So step the feet together, right hand down. We're gonna use the left hand to start. So we're gonna breathe in, lifting up, and we're gonna breathe out down the rear portion of the inside of the arm. This is the heart channel, breathing out. Flip it over, up the rear portion of the outside of the arm. This is the small intestine, right up over that shoulder blade. We're gonna lift the right, drop the left, and we're gonna do the same thing, breathing out. Down the rear portion of the inside of the arm. Breathing in, up the rear portion of the outside of the arm, over that shoulder blade. And we start again, breathing out. In, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Clear any stagnations down that heart channel. Breathing in. Up that small intestine. Let's do one more each side. Breathing out. Breathing in. Last one. Breathing out. get to the top, left hand comes up, breathing out, both hands go down. So, okay, so for our last tonification exercise, we're going to obviously be strengthening that heart. Um, for this exercise, really simple. Once again, we're going to step our feet out wider than shoulder width, nice relaxed posture, bend the knee, tuck the pelvis under, lift from the crown of the head, all the basics. And first we're going to empty out the heart. If anything sad, sick, gray, anything we don't need, we're going to empty it out for five breaths, and then we're going to fill it up for five breaths, filling it up with love and joy, everything that makes us slow down and relax and fall asleep. So we're going to place the hands over the heart. We're going to take a breath in here. And as we breathe out, I want you to imagine anything sad, sick, gray, traveling down your arm, coming out the tops of the fingers like smokestacks. Anything sad, sick, gray, anything you don't need, breathe it out. Breathing 
in. Empty a little bit more. Get rid of all that you don't need. Breathing in. Breathing out. Visualize, see that sad smoke. Breathing in. Out. in. Let's do one more. Breathing out. Totally empty out your heart. Now it's ready to be filled. Let's breathe in and visualize beautiful red, ruby red light filling up just a little bit of your heart. Breathing out. Breathing in, filling a little bit more. Hold it in there, beautiful ruby red light filled with love. Breathing out. Everyone needs a little bit more love in their life. Breathing in, filled. Halfway filled now, feeling that love, feeling that joy and relaxation. Breathing out. Breathing in. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Three quarters full now. So much love and joy. Breathing out. This time, let's fill it all the way to the top. Breathing in. See that heart filled, bright, shining, ruby red, loving light. Breathe out. More. Take it right over the top. And now breathe out and share it with the rest of the world. Because as I said, everybody needs a little love. One more. And let's share that love with everybody else. Drop the hands down. Stepping the feet to shoulder width. Breathing in. And out. Now that our liver is moving chi smoothly, our spleen is making blood, and our heart is filled with love and light, let's balance out some yin and yang. Right hand over left, left hand over right. That's a little bit tricky, but let's, uh, let's do left over right. So let's take it back in here. Out, left hand pushes up, right hand pushes down. Now we're going to gather. Yin and yang all around us, breathing in. Crossing the midline, we're going to mix yin and yang, breathing out. Breathe in, gather all white light all around you, mixing inside. Stretch, two, three. Hands are always in opposition, breathing out. Four. One more. Gather. And out. Stop at the top. Now, let's empty ourselves out. Breathing in. Gather from inside you. And once again, share with the rest of the world. Share all that beautiful chi. In, breathing out. We heal ourselves first, and we heal the rest of the world. In, and out. Breathing in, out. Last two, breathing in, out. In, out, stopping at the top, left hand comes all the way down. Step the right foot in, finish off with a few cleansing breaths. Once again, visualizing, gathering white light all around you, 
As you breathe out, pull it down, filling your body, melting all tension down into the ground. Two. And melt. Three. And melt. Last two. As slowly as possible, gather the light. And melt. Last breath. Gather. And pulling it down, melting. Hold your body. At the bottom, we gather up a little wisdom water of the kidney. Returning over at the heart, washing down the heart fire. One more time. And compress. So well done. Well, listen, uh, this evening program can be used as often as you like. Use it every night after work before bed. Uh, you know, change into your jammies and, uh, and you can do this program right before bed. A great way to relieve that tension, get those organs that help you sleep uh, doing their job and have an amazing night's sleep. Give it a try. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, uh, do me a favor, help me to help other people. So share this video with your friends, your family, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.